to my dear friend Chill. The things we saw that day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from everyone for the rest of our lives. Because, you see... I don't understand, Professor. Why are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? Okay, I need to touch the screen to continue. Uh, I don't think I said this, but, and it should be obvious based on how I make my layouts, but the screen on the left is what's the top screen on the Nintendo DS. The screen on the right is what's the touch screen on the Nintendo DS. So, I'm going to touch it. Look, my boy, do you really think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? Oh, no. This is an altogether unique and exciting situation, and it has piqued my intellectual curiosity. But I least to explain Oops. the case before we arrive at our destination. I hit a I hit a button by mistake. Apologies. Two months ago, Baron Augustus Reinhold passed away. Okay. Shortly after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating, to say the least. Maybe if I took this stupid controller off my lap, I would stop messing things up. The Reinhold family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within this village. To whomever successfully locates this treasure, I offer the whole of my estate. Naturally, those who attended the reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. But in the end, everybody came back empty-handed. Hmm. It turns out that no one had even heard of such a treasure existing, until it's mentioned in the will. Wow, that's some puzzle, all right. Quite. Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. What a perplexing individual. I wish I could have met him while he was still alive. It certainly sounds like you two would have gotten along, Professor. By the way, just what is this golden apple anyhow? Some speculate it's a rare antique, while others say it could be a gem. Yet its identity remains elusive. But Luke, I can't shake the feeling that this matter is linked to some larger mystery. Something huge. Ah, is that your famous intuition acting up again, Professor? Hmm. Well, our first step is getting to town. This is all so exciting! I hope St. Mystere is ready for the famous archaeologist and puzzle-solving detective, Herschel Layton. This is going to be good. I can already tell. <laughs> oh, Luke, you know as well as I do that I am no detective. Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. Mm. And you immediately decided to take her up on her request, huh? Oh, well, look, a true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. He's a player. If you say so, Professor. We should be nearing the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. You got it. What in the... What's this? Lady Dahlia seems to have given us a test. Hmm. We'll need to decipher this map in order to find the village. So we just got here and we're already working on the puzzle. Okay. Okay, Leighton, I see you. She wants to see if we're capable of cracking the mystery surrounding the Reinhold fortune. Care to give it a go, Luke? I will do my best. A puzzle like this should be a snap for the apprentice of the great Professor Layton. Very well then, Luke. I'll leave this one to you. Think of it as a warm-up for things to come. All right. Puzzle number one. Okay, so if you're not familiar, I only know this because I've played um, 
what is it? It's Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney. Uh, two different series they merge together and, and use gameplay mechanics from both games in this one game. Um, if you're not familiar, Picarots are basically a point system. At the end of the game, it measures how many Picarots you've gotten. For example, this puzzle is worth 10 Picarots. Uh, if I solve this puzzle without messing up, I get 10 Picarots. But if I do mess up, then I think I lose about a third of the Picarots. They're basically points. Um, so I'd be at 7 if I mess up. Then if I mess up again, I'd be at 4. And it goes all the way down until I think there's a limit. Not entirely sure. I don't remember. Um, and Picarots can eventually be used to get hints in the game. They work like hint tokens uh, once you've actually gotten them. So this is the first puzzle. Where's the town? All right. So on your left, for me, it's above one another, uh, are the rules for the puzzle or, or uh, the guide to me solving it. My village is on a road that leads to no other towns. I look forward to seeing you there. Use your stylus to draw a circle around the right village, then touch submit. Okay. Um, so, my village is on a road that leads to no other towns. My village is on a road that leads to no other towns. Uh, go to puzzle. Draw a circle around the town in one stroke. Once you've circled your selection, tap submit. Okay. So, the village is on a road that leads to no other towns. Hmm. My village is on a road that leads to no other towns. Would that be this one here? The the town in the top left? Because this not only leads this path here not only leads to can you see that? Yeah, I think you can see it. This path not only leads to this one, but it also leads to this one. And there's no way, there's no realistic way to get to either this one or this one. The only way you could go, actually, I'm sorry. If you want to start here, you can go to this one, but then you can also get to this one. Any path where you can get to this one, you can also get to this one. The only way to get to this one is to go this path here. And that's the only town you can get to. So it would be this one. I hope that's it. Let's submit it. Well, here's my guess. Did it. Hey! <laughs> we did it. All right, so 10 Picarots there. Not bad for a first puzzle. Not bad at all. That's correct. The only town that isn't connected by roads to another town is the one in the upper left. Yeah, called it. Called it. <laughs> okay, that's how they solved it. Um, Basically, they just drew roads or drew a path from one town to another until they found one that wasn't connected to another one. Okay, okay. That's dope. That's pretty dope. There we go. Now we should be able to make our way to the village. Right you are. We should see it on the horizon any moment now. Huh? Professor, do you mean to say you already figured out the town location? <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. A basic puzzle like that is easy enough to solve with a glance. Anyhow, you'd best gather your things, Luke. We've arrived. Here we go. Professor Layton in the Curious Village. All right. That was a tutorial. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, and they don't do voice acting anymore. How lovely. Interesting. It appears that this drawbridge is the entrance to the village. 
and we're stuck on the outside. What should we do, Professor? Oh, look over there. There's a man standing on the other side of the river. Maybe he can help us. Uh, draw bridge. Head for Rainhold Manor. Tap an error to investigate. Okay, so this is what I was saying about the adventure portion of the game. Now it's time for us to figure out what we need to interact with to continue. Good day, sir. We very much like to gain access to the village. Could you please drop the bridge for us? Do I look like the sort to go dropping the bridge for a bunch of fancy looking outsiders? Hmm. You got a lot of nerve. We received a letter of invitation from Lady Dahlia. I don't suppose that changes things, does it? From Lady Dahlia? Well then, I'd sure like to lower the bridge for you, Mr. Fancy Pants. But the engine is busted, and I can only move this blasted bridge with a hand crank. Hmm. There's all these infernal slots I could put the crank in, but I got no clue which one to use. Hmm. So, smart guy, you got any idea which is the right one? It's puzzle time. Puzzle number two. Uh, this puzzle's worth 15 Picarots. Okay, so, so far we have 10. This one's worth 15. There's no way to lower the bridge and get across without inserting the crank into the correct slot. Choose the slot that fits the correct uh, fits the crank shown below. Tap the crank to change the viewing angle. Oh, so we could change this to see the other sides of it. Got it. All right, so it has two squares on one side and a triangle on another. And then it's on a pentagon in the squares. Let's see, one square is on a side. Another square is on a vertex, and it looks like that triangle is also on a side. Tap the crank to change the viewing angle. So if we were to put this in, it would need to go in the... I'm kind of confused, you know? Which side of this of this insert here are we putting it in? If okay, so like if this is number two in the let's see, where are you guys? If this is number two and the triangle's pointing up, are we putting it on the side that I can see? The side that's facing me or the side that's facing you? That's what makes this one confusing. Cause if we're putting it on the side that faces me. If we're putting that side in. Never mind. It can't be number two. Because of how they're arranged. It can't be number two. Okay, I see that. And it can't be number three. It's number one. Because we said we have one on a side and another on a vertex. This one has, number three has them both on the side. And that also looks like, uh, what is that, a hexagon? And then number two has them both on the side. Number one is the only one with them on one on the side and the other on a vertex. Lou, here's my answer. Dunzo. Critical thinking is the key to success. Dunzo. Nice job. Now drop that bridge. Drop the bridge, bruh. That'll do it. Hold on a second, I'll let her down. Hmm. I'm gonna say it again. I just don't feel right about letting outsiders into Saint Mysteer. But if your Lady Dolly's guess, I guess I better. At least give her my regards, you hear? Puzzle number two. The crank in the slide is now in your puzzle index. Dope. All right. All right. <sighs> yes, we finally arrived in St. Mystere. I'm so excited. I wonder what mysteries await us here. Ha <laughs> ha Well, Luke, we'll find out soon enough. Just be careful not to let your excitement cloud your ability to analyze your surroundings. 
I say, Luke, this is a perfect time to explain how to move about during our investigation. Give that shoe-shaped icon in the lower right portion of the touchscreen a tap with your stylus. After you do this, a set of arrows will appear on screen. Tap one to head in that direction. So remember, when you want to move, just tap the shoe. Go on, then give it a try. All right, so we can head for Rain Reinhold Manor. Reinhold Manor. Let's give it a shoe and give it a try. Let's head into the city. Hey, now, don't run off yet. I've got something you should hear first. Uh, so I guess I got to talk to this man. <laughs> what a dandy set of fellows you two are. You must be new to St. Mysteria, yeah? The name's Statchen, Statchen Scarfin. The name's Statchen Scarfin, and I've got some advice for you. Go tap that barrel back there with your stylus. Don't ask questions, just do it. The barrel, the barrel right here. Dope, we got a hint coin. <laughs> Felt good, didn't it? Around these parts, that's what we call a hint coin. When you find yourself up against a doozy of a puzzle, you'll want a hint. Trust me on this one, fellows. And it's just those times when you'll want to use a hint coin to purchase a hint. I bet you think puzzles will be a breeze now, eh? Think again. There are a limited number of hint coins in this world. So don't go wasting coins on any old riddles. Just beca uh, because if you do, when you come across a real stumper, you'll be sorry. Real sorry. Mind you, hint coins won't always be stuffed inside barrels. Check around any or check any object that seems suspicious. Got all that? Good. Be seeing you around. All right, Statue of Scarfin. Let's talk to this woman. Probably get yelled at again. Oh, hello. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to St. Miss Deer, where our local export is the puzzle. Oh, before I forget, you should know that every time you solve a puzzle, you earn a set number of picarats. The more picarats a puzzle is worth, the tougher the puzzle will be. They say lovely things happen when you gather enough picarats. Imagine that, a reward for solving puzzles. For practice, try this little riddle that your hat reminded me of. Think good and hard before you answer. All right, puzzle number three, strange hats. It's worth 10 picarats. These four top hats are all the same height, but the length of each brim is different. In other words, the, hat are e the hats are equally tall, but vary in width. One of these four hats has a brim and height that are the same length. Which hat is it? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? One of these hats has a brim and height. The brim is the... The part that goes outward as opposed to going up. Has a brim and height that are the same length. Oh, I guess we're supposed to use the shadows to be able to tell. Okay. So let's see. Let's look at them comparatively. Which which I'm gonna I'm gonna look at them in order from shortest brim to longest brim. Or, or widest brim, I should say. Narrowest brim to widest brim. B, A, C, D. B, A, C, D. That's narrowest brim or smallest brim to widest brim or shortest brim. Now, looking at their shadows. Damn, am I looking at that the right way? I think, I hope I am. I'm, look, I'm trying to find a difference between B and A. B shadow is smaller, obviously. Man, this one is wild. They 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 tried me today, boy. All right, let's see what we got. What we got? One one of their one of the brims is the same length as the height of the hat uh professor layton how the hell am i supposed to figure this one out 
One of their brims, one of the hats has a brim and a height that are the same. Is it D? Is this a trick ass question? It's not B. Is it? Let's see. How how are we supposed to tell just looking at them? Which hat has the same length for its brim and its height? I think it's A. I think it's A, and I kind of want to blow a hint, just to be sure. All right, let's hint it up. Let's hint it up. We can do this. Unlock a new hint. Each hint costs one coin. Okay. Don't just pick an answer based on what you see on the screen. If this puzzle could be solved with a quick glance at the screen, it wouldn't be much of a puzzle, now would it? The human eye perceives vertical and horizontal length differently. Okay. Don't just pick it. No. Don't just pick it based on what I see on screen. Well, then what the hell else am I supposed to use? Based on what I see on the screen. I. Let's see. In chat, what do you guys think? I'm not, again, I'm not asking for the answer. What do you guys think? It's a good way of analyzing this puzzle. Oh, man. I, I, I think it's A still. I think it's A. I think it's A. I'm going to choose A. Oh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I think I figured out. Okay. So the brim is this part, but then it's got that little white tapered part. That white tapered part is a way we can use it to figure it out. Okay. So on C, that white tapered part is half of the brim. Okay. Now, if you were to make a perfect square just above the tapered part, you would still have like half of C left. Okay. So that means it can't be C. I'm sorry, not half of C left. It would have half of the height left. So it can't be C. It can't be C because there's two there's more brim. It's B. Is it B? It's no, it's A. It is A. It is A. There's just enough for it to be half. I think it's A. I'm going A. Look, here's my answer. Did it? <laughs> Did it? That's right. This is a very famous optical illusion. An optical illusion is a visual phenomenon where your eyes perceive things differently than how they actually are. There are dozens of known optical illusions. Did I did I, I evaluate that right? I think I did. Like using everything that we could just looking at it, I think I evaluated that the right way. That's dope. Oh, bravo. I think you've got the hang of this. If you try your options one by one, you'll eventually find the answer. However, you'll also encounter lots of puzzles that can't be solved by simply trying all the answers. If you answer incorrectly, the pick rods you can earn from a puzzle decrease. Tough stuff, hmm? It goes to show you how important it is to think for yourself and find the answer on your own. Well then, best of luck to you. I'll be rooting for you too. Dope. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to Alt Play as well as turn on notifications and follow at the Alt Play on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.